Hello, my intrepid explorers. It's um, Monday morning. Uh, as you can guess, I'm not at home. Um, although I look like I'm at home. Uh, nope, I am in hospital. I'm in West Mid. Um, I have been here since Saturday. Um, fun times. Um, I came in because I had a slight infection that I was hoping they were going to give me some antibiotics and some cream for um, and send me home. Nope. Uh, they did blood tests and uh, I was very, very close to going into neutrophilic uh, sepsis. So my neutrophil levels, which are my white blood cells, uh, they should be, normal should be between 10 and 12. Right? On chemo, they go down, which is obvious because chemo just wipes out everything. Um, mine went down to 0 0.2, which is very, very, very dangerous. So I could basically, they said to me, if you go home and you catch a cold or you get a small infection from a cut, that could be it. No more Laura. You know, it could kill you. And that's how low your levels are. Also, my CRP levels, which are the infection levels, um, they, should, they should be about 10 they should know the, the, the normal levels again should be about 10 12 uh, mine were 228 so they had to keep me in which i was not happy about at all because i'd been to the i'd been to the gp on thursday um about this infection and then obviously it got worse which is why we went to the gp which is why we went to the um which is why we went to a and e for it so I've been in hospital all weekend having intravenous antibiotics. I'm not happy, as you can tell. Um, as you can also tell, all of my hair is gone, including my eyebrows. Yeah, it's all gone. All shaved, or I, I sh technically we shaved it off um, because the weird stubbly look was really annoying me and also it was very uncomfortable. Um, my eyebrows fell out, but I've still got the wig on. Mm. Um, things apart from being neutrophilic, neutrophilic sepsis, whatever, I can't say it, it's really annoying. But anyway, apart from my neutrophil levels being really low, to the point of being sepsis, um, and my CRP levels being really, really kind of like almost dangerously high, I feel absolutely fine. Um, those things are, I feel, I feel fine. I don't feel like I need to be in hospital. Um, apart from the, the pain I have with this infection that I've got, you wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to tell you that, that you know, my levels were, were dangerously low and really weirdly high um, because I just feel normal like normal Laura so we're hoping that I can go home today I'm praying praying that I can go home today because I really really want to I really want to spend time in my bed and with my dogs um and at my house and not with some weird strangers in hospital um, funnily enough I'm not a big fan of hospitals um, I spend quite a lot of time in them recently and yeah, I'm not a big fan of them um, but obviously I've got to spend a lot more time in them to get better and have chemo um, which I'm supposed to be having on Wednesday and that might be pushed back so I'm waiting for a call from my specialist nurse at UCLH to see what's going on there because she might be going ballistic by now but yeah so that's an update with me 
I'm trying to stay as positive as I can, um, seeing as I'm in hospital. I am in a side room because I've obviously because I'm having chemo and um, I'm susceptible to like everything. They've put me in a special side room, so I feel I feel a little bit like a kind of princess. That makes makes it makes me look like an egg. <laughs> I look like Humpty Dumpty. Um, so I feel I feel a little bit like uh, like a VIP, but uh, Mum's coming down. Uh, a bit later to see me um, and she spent the whole weekend with me and so has dad dad's come down um, and Nan was a superstar and came down um, Saturday lunchtime and brought us lots of food and brought me clothes which was really helpful because I've, I've, I've had clothes for the whole weekend which has been gratefully appreciated so thank you very much Nan um, my parent yeah so my parents are Amazing. I just, I don't know what I did to deserve such amazing parents. I really don't. They are just unspeakably amazing. They have been so. They've been there for me the whole time. Literally, there's no questions. If I needed something, that's it. You know. So I just. I don't know how. I know I don't need to repay them. And I know that, you know, that when mum and mum said, mum said to me, you know, when we when we hagged you, this is what we signed up for. There was, wasn't any kind of clause. There wasn't, wasn't any, oh, no, we're not going to do that part. And we're not going to do this bit. But, you know, I do feel like I need to give back in some way. So just got to figure out how. Even if it's like a special weekend or something. But, yeah, so that's how far I am. Um, chemo, this, the last chemo I had, so from from five days, um, I'm sorry I didn't give an update to that because that, that completely knocked me out. Um, I've slept a hell of a lot. It just, yeah, it was, it was not nice. It, it kicked me for six, really. Um, so... I'm just trying to, I'm, I just got back on my feet and then this infection kind of showed up and I'm uh, back in hospital, so, yeah. But I thought I'd give you guys an update as to where I am now. Um, I'm sorry I look like a weird floating humpity dumpty egg. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, also, if you're seeing this and you haven't already donated to the GoFundMe page um, or... If you could spread it round to your people in the offices, you know, friends and family, people that you know, that'd be really appreciated. Um, we're trying to raise as much money for people, for the uh, teenage and young adults t uh, cancer unit for UCLH as possible, um, because they are doing so much. Even when I'm at home in Feltham, um, I can just ring them up and they'd be like, yep, yeah, what's the problem? And they will do as much as they can to help me from where they are in London. Um, so we're trying to raise as much money as possible. So if you can donate, please do. Even if it's just a pound, it'd be amazing. Um, tell your friends, your family. You know, if you can't do it on the GoFundMe page, let me know, um, and we can sort out another way to do it. Um, but yeah, please, please try and donate. Please spread the word about it. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side.